So, in this little video, we'll just be having a look into the Rodinax 60 developing tank. Uh, you'll have to excuse if I pronounce that wrong. Um, so, we'll flip it open and we'll have a look inside and make sure we've got all the parts. Got the instruction booklet here, and I'm just going to check through and make sure everything's here. Um, number one, the spooling chamber. I'll actually assume that that is the spooling chamber in there. Number two, the clamping springs. These are the clamping springs here. Number three, the developing chamber. This is the actual developing chamber here. Number four, is the guide hole and turning knob. So we'll just take out, we'll take off the wheel and that is the guide hole there. Number five is the pouring lip. That's on the corner. Number six is the knife edge. The knife edge is actually a plastic edge in there which just runs along there. I suppose it's a safety feature. Number seven, the cassette guide groove. The cassette guide groove is actually there on the actual container. Number eight and number nine are the two settings which are one and two on the actual chamber. Number ten is the tank itself, which is all of that. Eleven is the little screw that holds the wheel on. And number twelve is obviously the wheel itself. Thirteen is the guide groove. The guide groove is actually in the top lid here. So that is actually on that one there. And that is the guide groove. And number 14 is the lid itself. 15 is the cassette. This is where the actual film goes and it's going into the side of the actual tank. 16 is the lid or lip which is actually described as the film guide which actually sits in the top of here and guides the film into the tank. 17 actually now going into the spool and 17 is the actually the leather strap clip and that's what that's called the leather strap clip. 18 is the spiral itself which is the clear spiral. 19 is the leather strap which is connected between the spiral and the clip. And 20 is the square spindle end which is this bit here where the actual wheel slots into. So all the parts are there. I'm just going to reassemble it now. Pop it back into its box and away we go. So we'll pop in the wheel. Put that inside. Pop on the wheel on the side here. Just be careful of the washer, which there is a washer on the side. It doesn't actually mention anything about a washer. So the washer is on the side there and clips into the side. And put that on the spindle. Put that back inside. Put the film feed in the top. In goes the film chamber. I'll set that up exactly like that. And that drops in and everything's back together. Pop the instruction booklet in. Tank into the box. 
And now we're all done. Ready next 60. Thanks for watching.